let us understand how to use spss in order to use spss i will presume that on your laptop or desktop you have the spss and you can open it after having opened the spss you see that there on the left hand side extreme there is a icon where data view is written if you click on the data view you get a sheet which is a spread sheet like and on that there are different columns and at the top of the columns var is written var indicates variables it means in one particular column you have to enter only information of one variable if you have five variables then you need five columns now which information of which variable is to be entered in which column that has to be decided by you and after having decided then you go to the variable view once you open the variable view you can see different icons like name type width decimals label values missing columns align and major so there is no harm in entering the data of the variable in any sequence you like here sequence does not matter number 2 is you should know that either your variable is a continuous variable or it is a discrete variable for example i want to enter the information about the gender you know that gender is a discrete variable or a discontinuous variable because it has two categories or two classes or two labels one of the label is male another is female so if i want to enter the information about the gender to start with then i should under name write gender after having written the word gender under the name that means this is the name of the variable if you like you can type in the lower case or if you like you can type in the upper case that means if you want you can type in the block letters or the small letters it everything depends upon you as a researcher now after having entered the name in the first one then you can click and you will find that under type the numeric will come this is by default now if you click over here in the type then you come across a dialog box where different options are given one of the option is numeric another is comma another is dot next is scientific notation next is date dollar etc by default it will be always numeric because most of the researchers use spss to analyze the numeric data but if you have some other type of data then under type you can change there is no problem at, at all number 2 is next column is width on this variable type you can see that width is there 
as well as decimal places are there if you want to change the width you can change the width from the variable view or you may change it otherwise here by default width is 8 and decimal is 2 that means you can enter the numeric figure which is of the eight digits and with two decimals if you want to have four decimals then the decimal can be changed from 2 to 4 or 6 whatever it is if you have a larger number then the width can also be changed now after having completed the information in the variable type dialog box we should click on okay now next you can go to the width by default it is 8 if you want to change you can change if you do not want to change choice is yours after width it is decimals the same thing if you want to change you can change next is label since gender is a discrete variable and there are two labels so i can put two here in the next column is a values so here i'll click i'll get a dialog box in this the first one is value now since there are two labels of gender one is male other is female i as a researcher can decide whether i want to type the male first or female first if it is male i can say one and then under label i say males and then i add it now next is two two means females and then i add please understand that one is not at all a score one is a code two is not a score two is a code if you want to give a code something else say for males zero and females one that is also possible so decide yourself and go ahead then you should click on okay now if you go to the missing you should know that whatever the data sheet that you have developed in that data sheet there are no mistakes if there are some mistakes you should first correct and then use that data sheet to enter the information in the spss next is the columns you need not to bother alignment need not to bother next is major now here if you click then you get three words like scale next is ordinal and next is nominal that means this gender variable its information is on which scale if it is on the nominal scale then i should under major click on nominal and whenever the variable information is on some other scale we should click appropriately so this is how you should enter now you can enter the second variable suppose my second variable is achievement achievement in science then i should have achievement dot in dot science and this is also the numeric one it is a continuous variable so therefore there will not be any label here now next suppose my variable is types of school if types of school i know it is a discontinuous variable 
and if i say that there are three labels then i go straight to the labels and i enter here three now then i go to the next values in the values i double click now these three types of schools i have to decide if i say one mix government schools so then i should say i should say government schools and then i add next two if i say two mix aided schools i add next i say private schools i add so therefore i have entered now i should say okay now this also in the types of school the information is of a nominal type so we can go to the major and we can click here and we can come to normal by chance if you are not able to do this do not bother leave it as it is because our scale of measurement is important of the continuous variable but it's always better to write appropriate scale of measurement if my another variable is say intelligence and intelligence is a continuous variable so i can click and that fine now if i want to say residential background here intentionally i am doing one mistake so that you understand it that if such mistake you do what will be the output now here i have written residential background and here i have given a gap if i enter it then you get a message variable name contains an illegal character that means here i have written two words and in between two words there is a gap so there should not be any gap so whenever you have two words or three words then between two words there should will always be a dot so i can say okay and i can again write now here residential dot background and if i enter now you get all information because some information is already predefined but you know that residential background is a discontinuous variable or a discrete variable so i must write how many labels are there so under label i will put two because i am only taking two once you have done that then next column is values so you click here and you get a dialog box now there are two residential backgrounds one is urban and other is rural so you have to decide one is the code for say urban then you say one and you say urban urban you can say area now you add and now two is your rural area and now you add this again click so you get it now if you are interested you may go to major where scale by default is there if you want to change to the nominal because the information of the residential background will be only on nominal scale it will not be on any other scale so this is how we have entered the 
variables names like gender achievement in science types of schools intelligence and residential background now after having done this now you shift to the data view as soon as you click on the data view on your screen you will find all five names in each column there will be one name written there in the first column gender is written second column achievement in science is written in the third column types of school is there fourth intelligence and fifth is residential background now your data sheet is ready to enter the data so now we can enter the data to enter the data you can follow few things number 1 either you can take the first person and you can enter the gender information achievement in science types of school intelligence and residential background so if you have 100 sample data so there will be 100 serials will be there 1 2 3 and so on so forth but if you decide that you don't want to enter the subject wise or student wise data you want to enter the variable wise then you can start entering the information of any variable you like it is not compulsory that you have to follow the sequence of the variables in which you have entered but you should make sure that whatever variables are on your data view you must enter the information for each and every variable if there are some missings then naturally before you go for your final analysis you should try to find those missings and then try to change that so that you have your proper data on your data view sheet so i enter the data of the gender and i do it like this so you know how it is to be done say i am taking just one variable say gender and i am entering the data randomly because i am just demonstrating but please don't do like this yourself you should have your actual data and you enter your data now i i will make one mistake so that i can tell you that your software can help you to find out that mistake but one should always see that there are no mistakes but as a human being we may make some mistake sometime so in the gender you will find somewhere i have typed 3 because i should have used 1 and 2 there is nothing 3 so let us see whether my software can detect this or it cannot detect this suppose i have entered this data now i go to the second variable that is achievement in science here i have entered the data of 62 students so if i like i can start from 62 then come to 61 then come to 60 so i can start from the bottom and move towards the top or if you want you can once again go to the top the first one and can start entering the data choice is yours because it doesn't make difference only important is that complete data must be there on your data sheet so i can start entering from the bottom and can keep on going these are the numbers i am just fictitiously entering but you will definitely get some result because there are numerical data and your output depends upon the correctness of the information 
by chance if you have made some mistakes that will be reflected in your result and you will not be able to find out whether your results are correct or not except that whatever data you have entered the SPSS will use that data and will give you the output. So rest of the things will depend upon you how you do it. So make sure that you have entered the correct information in it. But never try to cook the data. This is very important because some of the experts are looking to your, uh, your final result can say whether it's a real data or you have cooked the data. So please never try to cook anything. Be honest to yourself. So I have entered the information of gender and other achievement in science. Next is a types of school. Suppose I don't know whether I have taken two schools or three schools or three types or two types. I can go back to view variable. I can go to variable view and I go to the type of schools and I click at the values. And once I click at the values, I know that I have to enter the information of the three types. One is to be type for government schools, two for the aided schools and three for the private schools. So I need not to really remember all these things. Whenever need be, I can always refer to the data view and can find it out. So let us go, close it go to the data view and now I start entering. So I know the first student belongs to the government school so it is one, second belongs to the private it is three, the third belongs to the private it is three, fourth belongs to the aided like this. So I can keep I can keep on entering the data looking to the my data sheet where everything I have done. Okay, so do it very nice. By chance, you have entered one extra. Does it matter? Don't worry. If you think that one extra number has been entered by mistake, so you can click on that number on the extreme left hand side and then you can here only say cut and then it is out. So you can make certain changes like this, make the correction, nothing to worry about it. Next is the intelligence. So I should enter the data of the intelligence. If my intelligence data ranges from say 10 to 30, so my values should be only between 10 to 30 so I start entering my data. So this is how you have to do it. If you are in a problem, go to the help and try to see whether you get help or not. Okay. Next is the residential background. I know that I have only taken the subjects they belong to the urban area and the rural area. So I should enter their information. So I know one stand for urban and two stands for rural. If by chance you don't understand, then you can always go back to the variable view and find out whether one stand for this and two stand for this. That's all. So it's not, you really need not to remember a lot of things in this. Now, so data is now ready to use for the analysis.